Transformers are one of the most reliable components used in the electrical systems today. Choosing the correct temperature rating, NKVA, is critical to achieve a 20 plus year life of the transformers. Dry type transformers typically have insulation systems rated for 220 degrees C. The ANSI standard allows us to add the elements together so as to compare designs and ratings easily. Temperature rise is one important consideration. With 220C insulation system, it's important the transformer not exceed 220 degrees C. Regarding temperature rise, there are three ratings included in the standard, 150C, 115C, and 80C. The rating temperature will potentially be achieved when the load reaches full KVA. Example, 1000 KVA transformer, 150C is added when the load reaches 1000 KVA. Next we add the ambient, which is based on 30C average, 86F, over a 24 hour period, and 40C max, 104F, during that same period. Hot spot is a theoretical hot point inside the transformer, which is 30 degrees C added in. When we add these values together, we get the maximum temperature the transformer should ever see. An exception may be if the unit is applied in a hot environment, which exceeds 30 degrees C average, 40 degrees C max in a 24 hour period, such as Houston. So what's the difference? The simple answer is overload capacity. For example, commercial buildings are usually loaded lightly at night, perhaps on weekends, and are frequently oversized. 150C rise is commonly used and is appropriate. Industrial processes may be running continuously in very hot environments. 80C should be considered. Derating can be applied when selecting the KVA as well. If the load is 1000 kW, for example, at 0.9 power factor, perhaps a 1500 kVA or larger transformer should be used. Thanks for visiting ccreps.com. My name is Cy Cates. Please give us a call if we can help you with your transformer requirements.